Hey guys, I'm going to quickly talk about this uh, FPV ground station I put together. And uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, I, I did a, a DIY FPV monitor uh, from a 4.3 inch screen. And then I added this uh, uh, DVR here, which is on top of this one now. And uh, what I did is I've retired the 4.3 inch screen. I didn't really uh, find the screen bright enough for me. And uh, this 7 inch screen I found for about $30 on eBay. And uh, since I really don't fly with a monitor anymore, I, I use my uh, the Fat Share goggles or the Eosheen goggles, uh, I just use uh, this ground station for recording uh, additional uh, videos. Um, so, for example, if I'm recording on my other uh, DVR FPV monitor, I can use a second one if I want to do side by side video comparisons, which I I did one for the uh, Runcam Owls, uh, the old one and the new one. But um, just wanted to give you guys a, a brief overview of how I put this together. It's pretty cool and uh, really inexpensive. So the monitor itself was $30. Uh, it's one that does not blue screen or black screen. It gives you static when it doesn't have signal. And uh, that's uh, I'll put a link in the description of how to search for these because it uh, there's a lot of these monitors on eBay that will blue screen. You don't want you don't want to get those. Anyway, so let me uh, flip this over to the back. So on, the, on uh, as you can see here, I have this tripod back here. I just took it off. I had this. I actually had this uh, tripod on the bottom of this uh, monitor, but I uh, wanted to take it off so I could um, film this uh, video. It's kind of hard with the tripod sticking out. Anyway, so I have the DVR up on top here. I have one 3S LiPo that powers everything. I have this uh, RC840 receiver. It's an Eosheen um, 40 channel uh, receiver. And it, the, the nice thing about this one, and the reason I put this ground station together, it has two uh, AV outs. And it, I kind of uh, put all these wires together and it's kind of uh, hard to explain without pulling everything apart, but it's actually not, it looks like a big mess, but it's actually not that uh, complicated. I just bundle all the wires to make it cleaner. Uh, what is uh, interesting is the power setup and, and why I'm just able to use one, you know, 1000 milliamp hour 3S battery here to power three devices. That was the only thing that was kind of tricky. Now the two AV outs uh, go one goes to the DVR and then the other one goes to the monitor so pretty simple and the power system is uh, the thing that is going to be a little bit tricky to explain I have one JST lead here let me unplug this so I have one power lead that goes to uh, power the DVR it empowers the monitor through this cable here. So there's a power. This is part of the power cable that goes into this big mess here, as well as the audio video, and uh, also powers the receiver here. So what I did was I just basically used one JST connector to splice into these three different power sources, and also because the DVR is only a five volt tolerant inside this heat shrink here I have a, a 5 volt regulator so that's all there that's all there is to that just one lead it splits off three ways to the DVR to the receiver and to the monitor the receiver and monitor have a wider voltage range so uh, it could take 2s 3s 4s uh, but the DVR can only take 5 volts so I on on that lead I put a 5 volt regulator and then uh, I just took this huge mess of wires and I just cleaned it up and tied it up with these zip ties. That's all. That's all that's going on here. Anyway, so this is my sort of my DIY ground station. I use this in addition to my other Eosheen uh, LCD DVR. Uh, that one is, you know, has dual diversity, but that one is also about $120. This one is a lot less expensive, I think. I think you're three dollars for the monitor. This receiver you can get for about sixteen or seventeen dollars. 
and then the uh, DVR is 24 so this whole thing is quite a bit less and I'll put parts uh, I'll put the list to all the parts that I used for this particular setup in the description um, the night then the reason I went with this receiver and the two AV outs is uh, if I did want to use the monitor to fly uh, oh, I turned it off that um, if I had only one AV out that went to the DVR and then the DVR was sending the signal to the monitor, which is the way I had the, the 4.3 inch screen set up, there is a slight lag in the video as it gets recorded uh, in the DVR. So if you have this split off two ways, one going to your monitor one, and one going to the recording device, uh, there's no lag at all. So that, this, this is one of the reasons I went on. Uh, this is actually another reason why. I went with this setup. Anyway, you guys, just a quick little video on this. I um, hope you find this useful for you. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, and I'll put links to the other videos I made that are kind of uh, related to this topic. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.